Let's talk about Patrick Mahomes being named the AFC's Offensive Player of the Week. And that is in spite of PFF saying he's basically a below average QB. Then let's give an injury report update for the Chargers versus the Chiefs and talk keys to victory and much freaking more. But first, how about those? What's up, guys? My name is Cole, a.k.a. the Red Bearded King, Chief of Trolls, and I do daily news about the Kansas City Chiefs, so make sure to sub if you're new, hit that like button for the most thorough Chiefs content on the platform, and let's get into this video. We're going to talk about a flurry of things on this quick hitter. I've got some notes pulled up to my left here, so let's look at it real quick. The referee crew calling the game against the Chargers Thursday night, in case y'all want to know, is eight-year veteran NFL referee John Hussey and his crew. Now, the reason why I bring this up, it's very interesting. They officiated the Dolphins in the Patriots game, and that game had the second least penalties of every game played in week one. So what that means to me is they're going to let the boys be boys and play some freaking football. So I'm here for that. But that was also against the Patriots. They could have paid the refs money not to call flags on them, but I can neither confirm nor deny that. I'm just joking. Don't be upset. All right, Mahomes was listed as the AFC's Offensive Player of the Week, completing 30 of 39 passes for 360 yards, 5 TDs, no interceptions with a 144.2 rating, beating the Cardinals 44 to 21 and was absolutely incredible against the Blitz. The Cardinals blitzed Mahomes on 54% of dropbacks, and he went 15 for 21, 137 yards and four TDs against the Blitz. Absolutely incredible, so let's freaking go. And it's crazy to me that he's the AFC's Offensive Player of the Week, yet PFF graded him as almost a backup-level QB. We've done plenty of videos about PFF. I'm done picking on those poor guys. Maybe, maybe not. Now, from here, let's get into the Chiefs and Chargers injury report. There's a couple key injuries definitely worth talking about. For the Chargers, wide receiver Keenan Allen and tight end Donald Parham are both out with hamstring injuries. And cornerback J.C. Jackson is questionable with an ankle injury. I believe he was a limited participant in practice today, so... What does that mean? I don't know. If he plays, he's going to not be 100%. So we'll have to see there. But them not having JC Jackson in the backfield, good sign for us. And then Keenan Allen being out is another good sign for us, especially considering cornerback Trent McDuffie being out Okay, on IR. And we're going to have a rookie, Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams at times, up in his stead. Now, I know Trent McDuffie was a rookie as well, but he was our first rounder that Veach and company had an actual round one grade on. The guy they traded up for to grab in the draft. So that is a big blow to the Chiefs secondary. We'll get more into that later. Um, but another injury update would be right guard Trey Smith listed as questionable, but he fully participated in practice today. And from what I read, they pretty much put him through the paces to see how he responds and feels tomorrow. So yeah, he fully participated today, but that does not mean that he will start in the game tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. Nick Allegretti filled in for him during the game on last Sunday against the Cardinals, and I feel like he did a pretty decent job. So we do have a nice backup in Nick Allegretti, but of course I would rather have Trey Smith if he's healthy. The next injury is kicker Harrison Butker out with that ankle injury, and he's actually listed as out. And that means... Matt Amendola, the kicker that the Chiefs recently signed to the practice squad, will more than likely get called up to play in the game. Now, Justin Reed, maybe, still could do kickoffs, but I would expect Amendola to be doing field goals 100%. All right, let's look at some keys to victory for tomorrow's game. We're going to look at three on the offense, three on the defense, a couple bonus keys, and then I'm going to give my score prediction. But first, let's start with the offense. Number one Key to victory on the offense, get the football out quickly. Why is that? The Chargers D-line is not going to play games. So you have Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. They sacked Derek Carr six times last Sunday. Khalil Mack sacked him three times alone. Now, some of those sacks were on Carr, and he's a mid-QB. We all know all this stuff, but the 
D line is very good. I will say this also though, the Chargers offensive line is horrible. Bottom of the barrel dumpster juice, like 29th, 30th in the league. The Chiefs are top three, top five, so should be better. Some of the things I think the Chiefs will do to combat the Chargers and they're very good O-line. They're going to get the ball out quick. I mean, that's literally the key. Get the ball out quick. I think they'll utilize some screen passes. They'll bring in, you know, extra tight ends, use Michael Burton to chip on the edge. They'll have a game plan. They're going to use the aggressiveness of the Chargers D-line to their advantage. They did it really well against TJ Watt and the Steelers last year's playoff game. If you guys remember that, they basically played him like a fiddle and took advantage of how aggressive he is. So I think they're going to be okay, but he's definitely got to get the ball out fast. Key number two on the offense, get Juju Smith-Schuster involved. Derwin James is more than likely going to be handling Travis Kelsey. They'll probably double him at times. The Chargers play heavy zone as well and will be dropping back many into coverage. But I think Juju is going to have a freaking game. I just feel it in my gut. Obviously, we have plenty of other receivers. You know, McColl was a few passes few catches rather away from near a hundred yards receiving and just missed those by a hair. Then obviously MBS was involved. And then the pass catchers out of the backfield got involved. CEH had two touchdowns last week via passes. They were short passes, but they were passes. Nonetheless, Pacheco was involved. McKinnon was looking great. So getting those guys involved will be a good thing but not just out of the backfield. We need to run it down their throats because I think the Chargers are going to drop a lot back. They are no way, shape, or form going to blitz nearly as much as the Cardinals. I will tell you that right now. I bet my beard on it. The third key to victory, we got to run the football down their throat. So, yes, we got to get Juju involved. We got to get the football out quickly. Watch out for their D-line, but we've got to get the run game involved. I know that's probably a key to every game, but I just think... The Chargers and how good their D-line is, we got to run the ball. We got to run it well. Who's going to do it? I don't know. Will you see CEH? Probably. Will you see McKinnon? Yeah. Pacheco? I hope so. Somebody also mentioned on Twitter that Ronald Jones could suit up and kind of be a secret weapon to use just on how aggressive he runs. So I was like, that's an interesting hot take because obviously they didn't suit him last game. How interesting would it be that Ronald Jones suits up and takes a lot of these real heavy short yardage runs and just we just run the ball down their throat? Will it happen? I don't know. I don't think so. But it was an interesting thing to think about nonetheless. Now, as far as the defensive side of the ball, three keys. Number one, the D-line has to put in work. Now, Get this, the Chiefs D-line contributed to a whopping 28 pressures on Kyler Murray last week. Chris Jones, George Karloftis, and Mike Dana all recorded six pressures each. It was great. Kyler Murray did not know what to do. That man was lost. He needed that study clause to actually stay in his contract, but they took it out. So too bad, so sad. But Herbert, however, is a great QB, top 10. They got to get to this guy because he's going to dice us up if not. It just is what it is, especially when you consider our secondary, Trent McDuffie out, Jalen Watson, Joshua Williams rotating in, which is the key to victory number two for the defense. The secondary has to help out Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams, who will be filling in for Trent McDuffie. And I think that also ties into the D-line. If the D-line can get pressure to Herbert, that's going to help the secondary. It's just is what it is. That's basic football math. Number three, stuff the run game and minimize the power of the Chargers play action passes. I feel like they do a lot of them and they do it pretty well. So we're going to have to contain those guys, get some good pressure with the D line, get Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams help and put in work. I hope George Karloff to sacks Herbert like five times. Now, a couple of bonus keys is this one Minimize fumbles. Believe it or not, the Chiefs fumbled five times last week, even though they only lost one. And that was Juju Smith-Schuster's fumble in the middle of the field. But he fumbled again. That went out of bounds. So Juju fumbled twice. Pacheco fumbled once. Mahomes and Chad Henney both fumbled. But again, the Mahomes fumble was like nothing. He picked it right back up. Then he handed it to CEH, I believe, or it might have been Pacheco. But either way, Five fumbles, got to minimize those, got to win the turnover battle, especially against a team as good as the Chargers. And bonus key number two, use Arrowhead 
to our advantage, to their advantage. It's freaking loud there. Let's go. I know Herbert is 2-0 and against the Chiefs at home. People keep saying that, but one of those games, the Chiefs already had the first seed clinched in the AFC West and benched their starters. See, he's 2-0 and at home, but only one was against Mahomes, so we shall see how that goes. But I do think being at home is a definite advantage. Got to take advantage of that, the first home game of the season. So let's freaking go. As far as a score prediction goes, I changed it a little bit from people who have been asking me this week, but not much. I say Chiefs 34, Chargers 31, Chiefs win by three. It's a very, very close game. Could even go into overtime now. Could I be wrong? Oh yeah, the Chiefs could win by more. It could go into the 40s for both teams. It's it's kind of hard to tell, but I think both QBs are going to score a lot of points. Mahomes is very good against the Chargers, even though they are probably the most difficult opponent of the AFC West, especially after watching the Raiders' performance against the Chargers. <laughs> Derek Carr, three interceptions. It was looking rough. And then the Broncos, yeah, they should have won against the Seahawks, but they weren't looking that much better, if we're going to be honest. So Chiefs 34, Chargers 31. I'm pretty freaking excited for this game. I will definitely be going live after the game. So that's going to be like 10 p.m. Central tomorrow night. So definitely excited for that. Make sure to join, hang out if you can. Let me know your thoughts on everything I talked about in the video and the keys to victory. Again, the three offensive keys. One, watch the Chargers D-line via getting the ball out quickly. All that good stuff that we talked about. Screen passes, blah, blah, blah. Number two, get Juju Smith-Schuster involved. Three, run the football down there throw. Three keys for the defense. The D-line has to put in work, which I think they honestly will. Even though, I didn't say this earlier, the Chargers O-line is ranked like 7th in the NFL as well as their D-line. Both ranked 7th. Very good lines that the Chargers have. Number two, secondary has to help out Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams. So Justin Reed, Juan Thornhill, Brian Cook. They got to do something to help these guys out because they're going to get targeted a lot. Number three, stuff the run game, minimize the power of the Chargers, play action passes. Again, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on my prediction, Chiefs 34, Chargers 31. How off am I? A lot of you may think the Chiefs are going to blow them out, but I don't know. The Chargers are a very good opponent, so we will definitely see. So like the video, sub for more, blah, blah, blah. You know the freaking deal. And check out this video here, pew, pew, which is the scrambling armchairs video on some of his thoughts on the Chiefs versus Chargers game. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those Chiefs?